right looks like a good spot over here a little bit of shade by some rocks no, I thought for sure there'd be a fish hanging out over there I'll cast back over there Try over on the other side. I'm sort of standing in the middle right now and I'm just kind of working both sides of the bank. All right. And I'm going to try one in the middle, just in case one's hanging out there. I did find that there's a lot of rocks in the middle. Oh, that was a nicer fish. Yes. All right, guys. Let's see what we got here. Oh, I think it's a nice smallie. Oops, he's between my legs. <laughs> I think this is going to be the biggest smallie I've had since I've been here. Oh, guys, he's a nice one. Oh, please, please, please catch. Oh. Yes. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Guys, I cannot tell you how big of a monster this is compared to all the other fish that I've been catching in this place. Uh, this is this is a beast. This is a beast. Even by my other uh, location standard, uh, this would be a monster, guys. Yeah, I'll need the pliers on this one. I have just one spot, but I don't want to manhandle them too much oh guys i cannot tell you i was not even sure this this size even existed in this creek because all the ones i've been catching so far have been tiny uh, compared to the size of the ones that i i was pulling in my other uh, location there we go let me put that in my thing right now well I'm gonna let that go right now because that's that's not the important part but guys look at that monster smallmouth bass absolute beast absolute beast of a smallmouth look at that mouth oh what a monster smallmouth I am so stoked guys um, I'm gonna give them a little bit of water Okay, I'm going to take a picture with my phone and then I'm going to release them. All right, guys, I got everything cleared away like I wanted to. I've let the fish stay in some water for a little while to let it get submerged uh, because I had it out. Well, once again, this is the big monster smallmouth that I caught. I did a measurement of it, and it turns out it is a nice and hefty uh, 17 and a half inch smallmouth. So I am so stoked and pumped about that. I'm going to release this and let it go on and let it get bigger. I'm just so thankful for this. Go and uh, get bigger. Uh, watch it. I'm going to point it down so you can see me as I release this beautiful girl. And... Uh, let her get bigger make sure i got it angled right there she is thank you oh i am so stoked guys i am so stoked that's only about the maybe 10th cast if that 
that I cast before I caught that monster smallmouth. So I am so stoked getting ready. Going to go out and see if I can uh, catch and land another one. So let's, let's get to it. All right, I adjusted, whoops, got a branch behind me, need to be mindful of. I got a leaf on there, I see. All right. I was wondering, it felt like there was a delay of some sort. I'm right now standing in about uh, three inches of mud, but if that's what you got to do in order to find them, then that's what you do. Yes, all right, got my first one. Let's see. All right. All right, yes. There we go. Got the first one of the night. I debated if I should come here and glad I did. Let's see. If I can get this out without hooking him more or me. There we go. All right. Got that one out. Let me get some slack in the line. There we go. There we go. All right, look at that beautiful, beautiful smallmouth. Nice and chunky and beautiful color pattern. I'm gonna turn you off for a moment to get a picture. All right, here's that beautiful smallmouth. I got my camera, gonna release them. All right, what a beautiful fish. First bass of the evening. Let's see if I can get some more. Friends, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and do share with your friends. Have a blessed day.